Good morning. Brandon's bus now. Right, baby? How you doing? You still need to pull your shirt down? Your jacket, I mean your sleeve. Good? You got your deodorant and stuff on? No. I use power stick. Yeah. Mark uses the other one. Yeah. Why does he use that one? I don't know. This might, this likely smells better and tastes better. <laughs> You're silly. Just kidding. So anyway, let me see, what was I going to talk about here? I'll talk, to, I'll say that on after Ben and Lee's first school. 7.37. She's two minutes late. Hi, Katie. On May 11th. Tony Dean, I'm sorry I lied. Uh, I wish you would tell me my face. You're not going home today. My husband comes home every day. Doesn't he, Brandon? Mm -hmm, yeah. Daddy comes home every day. Yeah. So, when does he leave? I know he leaves at 6. 6.45. 6.45, so. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. He looks for eleven hours. No, he does. It's seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one, two, three, four, five, nine hours. No, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, one, two, two three, three, four, five. Oh, uh, he gets home. You got it. What does it take him? What does it take him two hours to get there? It's no, it's seven from seven o'clock. He leaves. He leaves it. Six, seven. Have a good day. Mommy loves you. Steve. Hey, I bowl with one of your friends, I think. What's that? I think I bowl with one of your buddies. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Um, Joey Edwards? Joe or something? I don't know. You're younger than me, right? You're like 42. Goes my son. You're like 40, what, 41 or 42? I'm You're 40? Okay, yeah, yeah. I, he told me I work, I bowl with him on my bowling leg. What's his name? And he knows you. Some Joey something. I don't know, I really know his last name. Uh, something like that. Maybe somebody I went to high school with. Or yeah. Like that. So he, I want to say Edwards. I'm not sure. I know the name. I'm trying to think of who it is. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, I literally talk to like two people. <laughs> you talk to like two people. I, I, I mean, even even some of the people that I had that were best friends, I don't ignore them, but I, I just, I work seven days a week. When I get done on Sunday, I have a few hours to go play with my nephews and, you know, have fun with them, and that's pretty much what I do. Yeah. My buddies call me like, oh, you want to you go? Like, you know, everything I do, I do with them. Yeah. You know what I mean? When and I have brought, your friends, they come over, they meet the, the, Family. the nephews and whatever. Yeah. Um, and it's, it's not like a personal thing, but like I said, I work so much, and I'm not giving up the time.
time that I had with family to, yeah. you know, to go to the I used to do the same thing. Used to, until my husband stopped all that bullshit and decided to turn everything upside down and backwards. So, I used to, my kids and I were always over my mom's house. Always. Any chance we got, I went over and saw my parents. But that was, yeah, I mean, the other day, we were all sitting there, everybody, I mean, we had some people over, whatever, but over at my buddy's house. Everybody left, and it was about time for kids to go to bed. You know, my little nephew says, Uncle Steve, I want you to take me upstairs. How okay. was he? Three. They, oh, so they took him upstairs, you know, helped him brush his teeth, all that stuff, put him in his, you know, in his little race car bed. Yeah. And he's like, I love you, Uncle Steve. Oh. But, you know, I'm not giving up. You know, they're, you know, how long, they're not, they don't stay little for long, not giving up the time that I have. Yeah, so my, my, my sister, all she wants to do is steal from me, so I won't talk to her at all. She, they, they like that control because when I first left my first husband, she talked to me into leaving my first husband. And when I, once I got into, once I, I moved in with her, then she started trying <laughs> to control how I raise my son, when he goes to sleep, where he sleeps at. And that's bullshit. He was, he's my kid. And my daughter had just died two years before that three years before that, and he was only about three years old, and you're gonna tell me that I'm not allowed to sleep in the same room as my son. Fuck you. They're my security blanket, yeah. okay? I have no support from anybody emotional-wise. I am on my own, and my kids are my support. So you wanna try to steal that from me? You're dead. You ain't stealing another fucking kid from me ever again. You know what I mean? So, that's how I feel about family. My sister, I never really had family. I just had my mom and my dad, my stepdad. And they hurt, they hurt both of them, so. But I understand what you're saying, you know. I, I was never close to my, my siblings. Because that, they were much older than I was. And they did drugs and drank. I didn't, you know. I didn't until um, two years after I lost my first child and I self-medicated, you know, when I was 20. But other than that, I didn't drink, I didn't do drugs, and I worked in a bar. Yeah. I didn't. Yes, you know Wendy Rivera, right? Gibbersons, you know the Gibbersons? They're, they, they grew up around here. I hung out with them when I was 18, 19 years old. And they all fucking know that I didn't do drugs, I didn't sleep around, I didn't do this and this and this. But they want to perceive me as this terrible freaking person who worked in a bar when I was 18 years old. But I also had a regular job. I worked at Wawa and I worked for a book company, book binding company, you know what I mean? So it wasn't like I wasn't paying my damn taxes. I was paying my taxes on top of everything. So. Yeah, I, I actually, I know who you're talking about. Like I said, I just don't talk to anybody anymore. Yeah, right? well, yeah. yeah, yeah, so you know Wendy, <laughs> it was all Wendy and Joyce and all them. They all fucking know me. They want to freaking lie for that money. They can go right ahead. I don't give a shit. I know who I am. I know what I'm about. I don't know what people made me out to be. So now I just got to keep moving forward and still got that vow so busy three years later. <laughs> Remember I told you that yeah. two years ago? Oh, better you than me. Yeah, right? Yeah, so I'll keep that and, you know, until, until the time is right, you know? I guess what God will let me know. He'll let me know. So. I just met, uh, well, I, I met her a while ago. She does, uh, she does my nephew's hair. So I started talking to her or whatever and realized how old she was. And I was like, okay. a little too young for me. <laughs> really? Yeah, how old is she? Yeah. Huh. Yeah, but was hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're just, um, I haven't done anything in my lifetime, so my husband kind of uh, isolated me so that this other dumb princess bitch can steal my life. You know. You know, because I'm not that model type girl. I'm a tomboy, excuse me. But you knew who I was when you met me. And he wanted to change everything about me. So, but yeah, she, she, she was, when I, when she was getting in 